Hello, everybody. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium and a spirit navigator. I'm going to be talking politics today. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the thing we're going to do in November. I am going to be skipping some words today because as we get closer to the thing we're going to be doing in November, uh, the uh, algorithm, uh, they basically train an AI bot to listen to all of our videos. We know this. This is nothing new. Uh, but they're kind of ratcheting down, let's just say, on certain words. And so far, I've managed to stay out of trouble, and I'd like to keep it that way. So today we're talking about that. Uh, I want to just tell you some things because in my own way that I help you guys is forewarned, is forearmed, okay? As we go into the final stretch here, this is the final stretch. I'm not changing my opinion. The spirit guides are not changing their opinion. Kamala Harris will be the victor. However, there is some energy around letdowns, shenanigans, challenges, just things that are wrong. Like you just, I hear you saying, but it's just wrong, Susan. And I get it. I totally get it. So what is, how can all that be in the same timeline, right? Like how can she be the victor, but yet challenges and things and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's what how I'm seeing this is going to play out. Yes, she's the victor. Yes, there are these, uh, as the spirit guide said months ago, there's this invisible wave of voters. Remember, they called them the ghost voters. Well, I'm starting to wonder if that is the, the Swifties, right? The potential 300,000 Swifties that have now been activated by Mama Swiftie. Um, plus, you can't really deny that Haitian Americans are going to be out of force voting because they're under attack for no reason whatsoever. So I think you're going to see renewed energy, renewed vigor, uh, renewed um, motivation around certain subgroups that before now no, was not on the radar, just wasn't really a voting block that people were talking about. Now we are talking about them. So we know the Republicans know they can't win. They, as a matter of fact, Mark Elias, who's an attorney who sued them more times than I think anybody uh, over these types of uh, cases of VOT, ING rights or lack thereof or blockages of, he had a great video where he said, look, these people, the R party has not won a popular contest. Like they've never won the popular vote. They don't have the votes. On a good day, they don't have the votes, okay? They really are winning based on the Electoral College and on suppression. So what I see happening is even though Kamala just glides, I, I just want to say the word glides to victory, there are these challenges in certain states that the word that the guides want to use is nullify her votes in that state. It, but with, stay with me, even with those votes being nullified, she still wins. But there's a sense of, of just rage, right? There's a sense of unfairness and rage. And that those states, we're just not going to let those states do this. But the problem is these court cases that are going to challenge those um, outcomes are going to go on into 2025. And I think that's why a lot of us psychics have been seeing we don't really feel like like things are set right until the spring of 2025. So I think she gets in the, the house, right? I think there is a transfer of power. I think all that goes off. But I think there is this egregious energy of, no, they didn't. You know what I mean? No, they didn't just cancel my action or really, you know, millions of people's action. And it, it's really like the last stop in many steps of egregious behavior because, you know, Right now, and this is in September, but right now you have states saying we're not we're not going to do this or we're not going to do that. Or uh, what the spirit guide said months ago was that this a lot of this is going to happen on college campuses where they're going to remove voting booths, darn it, from college campuses. 
They said this months ago, here we are today, it is happening. And yeah, that's egregious. You see what I'm saying? Like by the time we get into mid-November, we're some kind of mad. And another thing I want to tell you, because I think this is such a beautiful image that you're showing me, and I also forewarned is forearmed. Because of these shenanigans, I don't want this extremely historic and miracle of an event to be tarnished for you. Because I'm going to tell you, you and I, we're, we're into politics. We watch politics. We pay attention to politics. We're going to know that this stuff is happening. But what, what the image I saw is that in the streets are people who are not into politics, who perhaps this was their first ever time doing the thing. Or maybe they do the thing, but it's not very regularly, only when they're truly inspired. They're going to be in the streets popping champagne and lighting off fireworks and yelling and screaming and honking their horns. They're going to be celebrating. So let's not get caught up in the problems. Let's get out in the street and celebrate. You know what I mean? Let's not let, because because what the spirit guide said was, the R party is going to try to tarnish this. You know, the last thing they want is for us to be joyous. We know this. <laughs> so they don't want us to be victorious and joyous. They want us to be sullen that our victory was taken from us, even though in reality, we got it. Do you see what I'm saying? They're playing a head game with us as, as per usual, gaslighting us just like the narcissistic groupthink party that they are. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Even, and this is, I'm warning you, I'm, I'm trying to give you the heads up. Yes, some states are going to do dastardly, the word they want to use is dastardly acts that are unlawful and un-American. However, we have a Supreme Court that's unlawful and un-American. So are they going to get away with it? Most likely. They're going to get away with things they shouldn't have gotten away with, despite these Herculean, really, challenges to Harris Walls, they win. We should really take a moment at some point and say, wow, despite all odds, that's the kind of blue wave, tidal wave tsunami that's coming right now, is that even if they take potentially entire states offline, do you even hear the words the spirit guides are saying? Because <laughs> I can't believe it. But even if this is what they're saying, I, I, I don't know. Okay. But this is the plan. This is the plan is to take these states offline is to say, we cannot verify these, you know, B-A-L-L-O-T-S's. We can't. We're not going to do it. You can't make us. <laughs> you know, recall that it was Raffensperger who said, it goes through. Stop the silliness, it goes through. What other secretaries of state or whoever's in charge of that in that state, are they gonna do the same thing or are they gonna do the wrong thing, okay? I just wanna tell you, yes, it, it's gonna get pretty ugly between now and November, whatever day that is, it really is. But we're, but it's getting ugly because we need the rest of the people who haven't woken up to wake up. Look what has happened. Whatever it is, 500,000, I don't know how many Haitian American citizens who can vote are now energized. So the more party does to be dastardly, to be un-American, to be horrible people, and to curtail our rights, the more they actually stir up Americans, the more they wake up Americans. So one way to think about this is as kind of things are going to hell in a handbasket, you can also think, well, 
things are going to hell in a handbasket. But the Trumper across the street is now saying, uh, this doesn't equal, right? Like one minute Trump is for this, the next minute he's for this. It, it's really getting too far even for them. You know, and, and the guides are saying when you're in a cult, you know, the cold water, you know what I mean? The thing that can sometimes like snap you out of it are those moments where you have just a moment where your brain is able to fire a synapse and the other one is like, hey, I'm over here. And Marco Polo, they find each other, you know, because they're disabled. When you're in a cult, that's all disabled. You, you don't have any free thinking of your own. It's group think. But, there, but what happens is, or what is going to happen, is there's going to be, and they want to use the word sacred cow. I think it's their favorite word. They want me to use it all the time, but I, I honestly tell them no several times. But everybody has their sacred cow. Everybody has their one thing that's a bridge too far. And a lot of these MAGAs are going to have this one thing that's a bridge too far. You know, and it's going to, they're just going to snap. And it could be that not only 45, but Vance is out there really doubling and tripling down on this misinformation and disinformation that certain societal groups are eating certain animals, right? They're doubling down on that message. And I think some people, that's just too far even for their cult addled brain. So as we, in some ways, get worse, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, right? In some ways, as it gets worse, this is shaking some neurons loose of the cult. And it's shaking some people loose of their opinion that their, their thing, you know, that little thing they do in November doesn't count. They're starting to realize, wait a minute, there's a lot of us. It's a lot of women. There's a lot of Swifties. There's a lot of Haitian Americans. There's a lot of other immigrant groups that are U.S. citizens that are waking up and going, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I remember when they came for me, you know, two, three years ago. Now they're going for them. It, it doesn't stop. They're never going to stop until we stop them at the pole. And I think this is this is the the kind of conscious awakening that's happening in America right now. And it's it's exactly what we need to break free of this. What the guides want to call a fever dream. They've talked about this before, that that are humans and they, they want to say all oh, humans. We're in this collective fever dream of feeling dis uh disillusioned but but disempowered and perhaps we are disempowered because we're disillusioned because we thought we can't fight the man we can't fight the corporations you know it goes back into astrology and you guys know i am no astrologer but i do have an addiction to astrologers so anyway it goes back to this whole pluto and capricorn thing it went back into Capricorn, and here we are with Trump doubling down on his top-down authoritarian energy. It had moved out of it and into Aquarius, and that's when we got Kamala Harris. Because guess what her tagline is? For the people. What is Aquarius? The people. This stuff really makes sense, you guys. So this energy of disillusionment and disempowerment because of the, the the powers that are bigger. You know, I can never get ahead. I can never get a house. I could never get a better job. I could never move out of this red state. Uh, I'm just disempowered. That energy is changing at the end of November, but right now, and it, and it will be changed for 30 years, 30 years, power to the people. Okay. But right now, we're kind of getting another dose of really bad medicine that is meant to show us just how horrible, you know, the last 30 years have been in case we've 
been disillusioned. Now we're waking up cold water's being thrown on our face and we're like wait a minute this guy's really crazy like everybody in this town including the mayor and a lot of people are coming out and saying there is no problem here it's not true right and and i'm being shown the aurora colorado where supposedly gangs um i don't know what country they were from but it wasn't the united states were attacking were, were taking over this apartment complex i'm People in the community had their own press conference to say, this isn't true. We live here. It's not true. So in those ways, you see the communities going, no, no, this is BS. You can't say this about us because it's not true. If you want to believe it, you are crazy. That's your own problem. But I'm here to tell you it's not true. So again, you see that the distance between the belief and the reality, right? When the belief and the reality are smashed up against each other, you're in group thinking. You're not thinking for yourself. When you get some distance, that neuron, you know, neurop, that what do you call those things? I had it a second ago. Synapse can fire, or it's a neuron. I don't know what it is. Something can fire in your brain, and something can answer. Marco Polo. This is a bridge too far. I've had it with this man. Why has he gone off the deep end? So even though there's going to be problems, there's going to be challenges, and it, and it really is going to show us some real discrepancies, some real problems with our system, not only the Electoral College, but also states' rights. It's, it's meant to shine a light on these things. States control the VOTING in their state. They collate them, they collect them, they certify them, they send them off to the White House, to the Congress to be certified. But now the states have picked up the mantle of this MAGA craziness. And even though he's going to be gone, some of these states are going to be acting in his same energy, okay? However, however, she's gonna win. She's gonna take her rightful place in the White House. And then the weight of the courts, the, the weight of, of potentially the DOJ is going to bear on these states. And I'm going to do, an, I'm going to keep this super short. I'm going to do another video really quickly. Probably you'll get it in a day or less about how the DOJ is now doing things differently. I, I, I know a lot of people don't like Garland. A lot of people think he's doing a good job. I've been on both sides of the fence with this guy, but I know now that they're, I mean, I know it because psychically, but I also know it because it's come out in some reporting that the DOJ has now taken um, new steps that they've, or new um, steps, new tools, uh, new ways of handling cases, investigating cases that they haven't done in the past. And they're doing it uh, in a way that is quicker. Because one of the things that we talk about is why is all this taking so long, right? Why are the investigations taking so long? Why does it take so long for Garland to actually even announce an investigation? So this energy is changing. And I see Garland changing in January. So that's that's good news. So with that information, and you go back to our current topic, you can see that you know Kamala Harris, armed with a new attorney general, is going to move much quicker. And the guides are saying surgically. Not these big, you know, big, huge secret grand juries times two. And then it, it, she's just not going to move like that. She does not move like that. She moves faster and surgically. So instead of like, again, this big thing, she's going to go right for that person and she's going to nail their flabby ass to the wall. That's going to be a difference. That's going to be a marked difference that you're going to see, that I'm going to see. We're going to see the whole justice 
kind of wheel of justice move faster. Now, that doesn't mean that these states are going to immediately roll over because they've got their power centers, right? I mean, they're, they're, that is their, like, they're starting to think of themselves as their own country, you know? And this, this is something we're going to have to deal with. But it also means it's something we're going to have to deal with, you and me. We have to get busy in our states and get busy voting and get busy holding people accountable, you know, writing editorials, writing op-eds, writing uh, to your Congress people, even if they're read, writing to the reporters and saying, this is wrong and here's where you're wrong. We have to hold all of these people accountable. So after we get after this E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, after we get after it, our job after we take a really well-deserved break is to get back in, back in action mode and working hard to hold these states accountable because we can't have a republic governed by a democracy if the republic doesn't want to be governed by a democracy. A lot of you guys have asked me that question, like, are we going to break apart? I don't see it, but for sure, th this is a test, like a stress test of our democracy, 100%. And we have the right person at the helm with Biden. We have the right person at the helm with Kamala Harris. But it doesn't mean there's not going to be challenges, okay? She's going to win. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be dastardly deeds. You've been warned. Don't fall for it. Duly note it. Write down their names. Promise yourself you're going to get involved in January or February when, once you take your break, you know, no one's going to let this slide, I don't think, but they need our help, okay? So I'm going to end this video at 22 minutes. Some of you guys wanted shorter videos. That's what I'm doing, um, but I will do multiple videos, smaller videos on specific topics. So in the future, you can go back and find the video that's specifically about uh, that topic. The other, another topic I'm going to be covering in a new video is the Republican Party. Uh, Spirit Guides talked about how it was going to be the end of the Republican Party. I have a video called the end of the Republican Party. You can find on my playlist by clicking the swirly logo. That will take you to my main YouTube channel. And then there you can click playlist, go to political videos. You can see everything there. However, I want to just neatly tie it all up for you with a bowl because we are here. What they said was going to happen is happening right now, and it has to do with Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lindsey Graham and <laughs> and 45, and just a, a fascinating situation if you didn't live in the United States. You, you could actually get your popcorn out and say, wow, what's going on over there, that crazy country? For us, it's a little less uh, fascinating. It's a little more irritating, but you'll see that coming up. If you watch this video and you're new here, please subscribe. I will tell you that YouTube is coming for us. I swear, I'm telling you, um, the more subscribers I have, the more likely I my channel will not be taken down. A woman had her channel taken down. She's a genealogist. A genealogist had the biggest genealogy channel that wasn't sponsored by any company. YouTube just took her channel down, said, you're violating our policies. She got it back, but they just took it down. It, it, okay, so I'm over here, like literally a uh, glaring, uh, glaring situation. Uh, so I know for a fact, the more subscribers you have, the more leeway they give you to actually even talk to you if something happens. So please subscribe if you haven't. Take really good care of yourselves. I'll see you again real soon. And uh, don't worry, it's all going to be good. For entertainment purposes only.